Hi guys, today we're going to be putting this clean and clear deep action cream wash cleanser to the test for one entire week on my oily acne prone skin and see what happens. Now you guys, you know that clean and clear is one of my favorite cleanser brands out there and on top of that, this cleanser seems to have amazing reviews and amazing for acne prone oily skin people just like me so I'm quite excited to try this out. Now this cleanser is supposed to be oil free and it shouldn't clog your pores and it shouldn't cause to break you out. On top of that, clean and clear claims that this cleanser actually cleanses deep down to help prevent spots from first use. So clean and clear clearly didn't come to play, but we're gonna put this all to the test. This also says to cleanse deep into the pores to remove layers of dirt, oil, and makeup in one easy step, all without over drying their skin. So these are some big claims. Honestly, I'm quite excited to try this out now. So without further ado, let's put this to the test, shall we? Okay, you guys, so it's day one. This is what my skin looks like. As you can see, I have a few pimples on the cheeks right here. What? new. I also have a new pimple popping right here on the eyebrows. So, I mean, hopefully this will help with that. But anyways, first off, I definitely want to see the smell and the consistency as always. So, open. Ooh! Okay. Oh my goodness. It's shiny, but also it's very, like, creamy. Duh, it's called cream. <laughs> but anyways, let's smell it. Oh wow, it smells literally like toothpaste, you guys. It smells like one of those minted toothpastes. <laughs> okay, so it's spreading around quite nicely. It reminds me a little bit of shaving cream at this point. <laughs> okay, so now that I've got my face, I can definitely feel a very refreshing feeling. I definitely think there's a bit of mint in this. But really, you guys, actually, it's quite strong. Like, I have a little bit of a dry patch right here under my lips, and it's actually stinging here. And also, I can feel it stinging a bit in the eyes. It's very overpowering. Okay, you guys, so I washed my face. This is what my skin looks like. It does doesn't feel tight or anything however i'm still definitely feeling that tingling sensation and god forbid this gets in your eyes i can only imagine girl you'll start screaming <laughs> so first impressions i don't know if i'm happy with this but hey i'm willing to look past all of this if this at least helped me with my acne but anyways this was day one okay guys so it's day two but before i wash my face i first want to read the ingredient list to y'all so we can better understand what to expect from this cleanser and also if it is any good or if there are some ingredients that i don't like first I see settle alcohol. Okay, so this is actually a really nice alcohol in skincare just because it's amazing at providing moisture and hydration to your skin. Therefore, it's actually really suitable for dry skin people. I then see salicylic. Oh, see, now I definitely understand why this is targeted for acne prone oily skin people. Just because the salicylic acid is amazing because it's a BHA and it's actually going to penetrate deeper into layers of your skin and actually clean your skin from the inside out. Therefore, prevent future breakouts. It's also going to remove your blackheads, whiteheads, texture that you might have. It's also going to brighten up your skin. One of my favorite ingredients for acne prone skin people. Anyways, moving forward, I then see menthol. Okay, so fun fact, it's actually contained in toothpaste, and so hence why this to me seems so much like a toothpaste texture and also just smell. And actually, menthol is not that good in skincare, just because it's very irritating and sensitizing to your skin. So, I then, of course, see parfum, as always. If you watch my videos, y'all know I cannot stand fragrance in skincare just because once again this is another ingredient that is very sensitizing and irritating for your skin so actually the ingredient list for this is quite nice apart from the menthol and perfum but the rest is actually quite nice so I'm quite happy now this is what my skin looks like on day two no new pimples have popped up as of yet so this is definitely a good sign but I mean still it's very much only day two so there's still so much that we have to experiment with this cleanser so definitely keep on watching and stay tuned for updates hi guys so it's day four this is what my skin looks like currently as you can see my pimples are still very much present they're in class and ready to study so i feel like this is not that much effective but you know it's still like halfway through so we definitely have to see maybe it needs a little bit more time a little bit more push what i wanted to say is that i've been making this test as fair as possible hence i have been keeping all other variables constant so the only thing that i've changed in my skincare routine is this cleanser i've kept all other things exactly the same on top of that i've also kept my diet exactly the same which is relatively healthy and I've been wearing makeup every day like I always do. You're not seeing me take off my makeup right now just because I use a double cleansing method so I'm not using this to take off my makeup. However, later on in this video, I will try it out just for you guys. Anyways, you guys, as you can see now, I wet my face and I'm just literally massaging it into my skin for 60 seconds or so just because, I mean, with a cleanser, you have to rinse it off quite quickly. But so all the ingredients and the good stuff that is in a cleanser wouldn't make that much an effect on your skin if you just wash it off instantly. So actually, what 
my advice to you guys to get the most out of your cleanser is do what I'm doing right now. So just massaging it. Anyways, you guys, this is day four. The results are definitely not here yet, but you know, I have faith. So let's just keep seeing. Okay, guys, so it's day six. As you can see, I have a full face of makeup. So you know what that means. It's time to test out if this baby removes the makeup well or not. Um, okay, so I don't think it's doing anything actually. Let me just try to wet my face and see what happens. Okay, I feel like it's definitely melting the makeup now. Like you can definitely tell the foundation is all going off. The mascara is going away pretty damn well. And also the eyebrow pen. Okay, so this was after one wash. I am keeping my eyes closed just because they are already stinging and do want to open because it'll sting a lot more. Let's try with a second cleanse to see where it takes us. Okay, guys, so this is after three cleanses. As you can see, my skin is now all free from makeup and it's still definitely feeling hydrated. So you guys, definitely approved. But anyways, definitely keep on watching to see my final thoughts and results with this cleanser because you guys, definitely, there's a lot of I have to tell you so you definitely need to be watching for that guys please i need your attention focus everyone before i actually start giving you my final thoughts and results i first want to make an announcement today i will be co-hosting this video with pamela she is new here in town she recently moved in and she doesn't have many friends she's a little bit shy please pamela say hi to everyone that's her, she says hi. On top of that, she also hasn't started paying rent yet. But anyways, don't worry, she won't do any of the talking. I will do most of it, just like I pay all the rent, Pamela. Anyways, you guys, my final thoughts and results with this. First, I'm going to start with the things that I liked because there are many, sis. First of all, I want to say I love the formula. As you know, and as I've said in the vlogs, this contains salicylic acid, which if you didn't know, if you watch my videos, salicylic acid is one of my favorites. It's just like, Mwah, please take me to charge salicylic acid because truly, no joke, it is one of my favorite ingredients to combat pimples and acne. So I was really pleased with this. And trust me, I know that some of y'all might be thinking, well, what's so special about salicylic acid? like I use that in my routine. Well, I know sis. However, I have to take in consideration that not everybody is crazy and into skincare just like me and you are. So for normal people that don't use salicylic acid in their skincare routine, maybe they don't even know what it is, a first step in the right direction of using salicylic acid in their skincare routine could actually be from starting with this cleanser. So points will be added to the total. Thank you. You done that? Okay, great. So really clean and clear, you might just have snapped with this because even though I do be using salicylic acid in my skin routine almost like three times a week, I still think that it is beneficial to use an SA cleanser for people with acne prone oily skin. And notice how I'm only referencing to people with oily acne prone skin and that is because I feel like this could be a little bit too strong and overpowering for someone with dry skin just because I had a little bit of a feeling like it was dripping a little bit of my moisture just because of the menthol and because it was like a little bit tingly. And on top of that, it was also taking away all the sebum. So there are their pros and their cons. However, if you have dry skin, I feel like really you two would not mesh well together. Like you could go on a date, on a first date, but trust me, there ain't gonna be no second date. There are a lot more many fish in the sea. This applies for men, but it also applies for cleansers. <laughs> Anyways, moving past that, another thing that I really like to you guys is the consistency because it is very unique. And so this is just a cream, which is just very peculiar, if you will, for a cleanser because I'm used to very liquidy ones. But you guys, this is actually so much nicer and a lot more practical because usually with cleansers, they tend to just run down my fingers and down my hands. I wiped it off my pants and all my pants are stained. Great job, Mateo. But as I was saying, usually normal cleansers tend to run down my whole arm to the elbow with a lot of water on the floor. It's just a lot a mess. There are some pros to using a cream because it won't foam up as much and it won't make you as wet as you usually would be. Which could be a pro. It also sometimes could be a con in other situations. I'm so disgusted with you, Rita. Anyways, enough with the positives. I feel like I've been kind enough to this cleanser already. And also, we're not in the 70s, so I will not be all peace and love in this video. I will start bashing you clean and clear. So actually, get ready. I'm gonna take my reading glasses and get ready for a little bit of a story time, a little good night sleep which actually, <coughs> it won't be so much of a good night's sleep. First of all, I just really want to know who is in your product development team. No, no, no. I just really need name, last name, and an address because I just really need to talk. Like, really, 
did y'all hire Colgate to design this cleanser? Because I just really want to know. The smell of this, you guys, it smells like toothpaste. Now, you know it's coming. You know I have to say this. This contains fragrance. And I know, I know y'all probably bored at this point of hearing me say this, but it's just these brands just keep on using fragrance in their products. And some of them don't even have the decency of coming up with a fragrance that is nice enough. This smells like a Colgate toothpaste. I feel like this should just go in my mouth. And I have never said this to a cleanser before. I mean, I have said it to things that are almost the same length and thickness, however, not to cleansers. Absolutely, no. she needs a job. No! <laughs> you really could have come up with something else. I am tired. Apart from that, you guys, I really just pondered a lot. You know that when I don't find a lot of things that I don't like, I just like to lock myself in my room and just like turn the lights off and really think and pray to Jesus that he gives me the answers to the questions that I'm looking for. However, I feel like Jesus was a bit busy recently, so he just couldn't get back to me and give me the answers that I was looking for. So truly, you guys, that was the only con that I could find about this. Clean and clear, you did actually quite a good job. This night's sleep reading was actually quite short, so I don't know if this puts you to bed. Honestly, you shouldn't go to bed because girl is quite soon it's 5 p.m but so and now the question that you've all been asking for has finally arrived Mateo will you be using this in your skin routine after this experiment is over and the answer of course is I feel like you know already what the answer is and I feel like you do really know you too please tell me <laughs> yes I will be using this in my skin routine just because it was truly amazing notice how I'm clapping my hands you all know that when I clap my hands it's because I'm delivering a point here. This cleanser really snapped. I actually will be using this, yes, however, only in my nighttime routine. Because first of all, as you've seen from the vlogs, it was quite good at removing the makeup. It quite impressed me. It did. And with the cleansers, even though I do use the double cleansing method, I still rely a little bit on my facial cleansers. So the second step to remove that little bit of makeup or dirt or whatever that was removed with my first step. So really with this, that is a tick. So that is added. So having said that, I will not use it in the morning. In my morning routine, I like to use a cleanser that's a little bit more gentle. That You know, I just woke up, so I'm still a little bit grumpy. I do not need someone to hit me hard with a cleanser. I like to be a little bit more, you know, cuddled. I need someone to whisper in a cleanser that resembles that. So maybe this will be a little bit too loud for your 9 a.m. So I like to go for more hydrating, nourishing cleansers. And actually, you guys, I will give you how much I paid this for. And I always buy my things from Amazon, as you all know, because I'm lazy. First of all, as you all know, I don't step outside of my house, especially in the daytime. That is just a foreign concept concept to me. I don't know how some of y'all do it. Some of y'all really brave. Like, usually if I have to leave my house because I have a lecture, I'll be just opening an umbrella. Even though I have sunscreen on, keep that in mind. But also, if I have, like, for example, the gym or whatever, I usually tend to wait when it's, like, 6 p.m. or whatever that the sun has set. Also, like, 4 p.m. because keep in mind, I'm in the UK. But that's besides the point. The point is, I have ordered this on Amazon. 290 Royal British Pounds. This is a steal, you guys, because this was actually 150 ml. So, you know, it's not quite a lot for a cleanser. However, being this a cream, you will actually have to use a lot less than, for example, a liquid. This could still run you like your two months using it every night. So really, guys, this is a steal. And as always, you know your boo has got you covered. So I actually linked down below in the pinned comment the cheapest part of this thing that I could find both on Amazon US and Amazon UK in case you guys want to buy it. And now I have to claim it is an affiliate link, meaning I will get a little bit of that commission. You won't have to pay more at all. Instead of just giving all your money to Amazon, you would give a little bit to me. Anyways, girl, you know what's coming. If this isn't your first video that you've been watching from me, or if this is not your first video you've been watching on YouTube in general, you probably noticed that I haven't asked you something really crucial yet that basically every YouTuber asks you. And that is, would you mind joining the random family? That, that could be an option because if you enjoyed this video, if you like skincare, chances are you would actually like this channel a lot because all we do is literally talk about skincare, wrinkles, acne. So, you know, it would be nice if you would consider subscribing and also turn the bell icon so you don't miss any of my uploads for whenever I upload and it's probably very frequently because I love to talk as you can see. Anyways randoms, to all my regular subscribers watching, to you I say first of all thank you for being here but now y'all know what time it is now of the video because we love to be repetitive and monotonous on this channel. As skincare enthusiasts we love routines and so we also have a routine and structure in my videos because
because my life is all about routines. Morning routines, night routines, and video routines. So y'all know it's time for the Italian word of the video. And since this video was all about this clean and clear facial acne wash, the Italian word of the video is going to be acne. Because I feel like I haven't even actually told you what acne in Italian is. Which surprisingly, you'll be surprised about this. It is acne. So it's basically the same thing. Now the question is, did y'all copy us or did we copy you? I'm not gonna point fingers at anybody, but I feel like you British people copied us just because, you know, we in the Roman ancient times, Romans must have had acne. So I feel like they must have come up with the word and that word probably must have been acne. So then y'all probably heard that word and were like, oh my God, what is that word? Acne. Acne, acne, we like that so y'all copied us. But anyways, randoms, thank you so much for watching and now y'all know as a routine, as I always say, what's coming now is you should watch one other of these two videos because you might even get clear skin. Actually, a study has been recently published that if you watch more than one video from me a day, your skin will get a lot more clear. You will also age a lot less. Screw your anti-aging and anti-acne and greenness that you're using. We should really do is watch these two videos. That's what you should do. But oh, remember to be random and always be random. Yes, uh, uh, uh. Seriously though, why are you still here? Watch one of them. What, what are you waiting for?